Hey, uh, this is Leo at the lead time. Um, so audience, uh, sometimes they ask me question, you know, why they want to use hydrosol and what is hydrosol? Uh, so today I want to make a video to explain uh, how hydrosol made and uh, what is the steam distillation and what's the why we want to use hydrosol. So um, first uh, I want to introduce you the steam distillation. Uh, I gotta use uh, my uh, lead time cattle distiller as an example uh, to show you the major uh, process and the component of uh, a good uh, uh, distiller. So for a uh, steam distillation, so that means you have a, a steam generator. So you, once you generate the steam, the steam pass through the herbs or flour. Uh, today I'm uh, gonna use a lavender as an example, and I'm also gonna explain you why lavender hydrosol is a good stuff for you. Um, so when the steam pass through uh, the uh, lavender, in this case, or other uh, herbs or uh, uh, leaves or the tree, uh, um, or tree uh, uh, the branches, uh, so they pass through that, and then the steam will go through these called a condenser. So the steam will be condensed into a liquid and then you collect the product that's called a, a distillate. So this is a one process. This is a called a steam distillation. And you may also heard about like a hydro uh, distillation. So that means you, you don't have this. So you mix the flour with water. Uh, and uh, during the boiling, then you boil them uh, like a boiling a tea. Uh, but the difference is with the tea is you collect the steam. So the steam will come out and then you also need a condensation and then you collect the distillate. That's called a, a hydro distillation. So, okay, so what is a hydrosol? So uh, hydro is a water. So means a mixture uh, with oil or some other stuff. Um, so when you do the uh, steam distillation, or hydro distillation. So the steam come up, uh, uh, so it pass through the, the flour, it will carry, uh, extract the uh, uh, essential components and uh, carry them out, uh, and that's a mixture. And some of the uh, chemical uh, from the, uh, the herbs, uh, they are oil, they are in the oil phase. And some of them, they can dissolve in water, so you will, uh, after condensation, you will stay in the water phase. So when you get the product, the distillate, um, sometimes you get a oil on top and the bottom is uh, the water phase. Um, so that water is called a hydrosol. Uh, but uh, keep in mind, the hydrosol only made through the distillation process. Uh, Sometimes, you know, they, they say they are hydrosol or, or made hydrosol, they just mix things together. They don't go through the steam distillation. That's not a real hydrosol. Um, the, there are big difference, especially in terms of the benefits uh, to the human. Uh, the steam distillation, it carries the most essential components, especially the soluble compound, they dissolve in the water, and that hydrosol is a special. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to use a lavender and introduce you, you know, what is a special of a lavender hydrosol and what, why it's different with the essential oil. Using the dry lavender buds. Uh, so when I do, when you do the steam distillation, uh, you get the a distillate, there are two major components. Uh, you can extract from uh, the lavender buds. Um, so these two uh, uh, special component uh, is called, uh, one is called uh, Lenalu. It's a, a mono uh, terpene alcohol uh, because it has an OH group. Uh, and the other is called a uh, linal acetate. Uh, it's like a uh, oil. And so these two chemicals um, they have a different uh, features. Uh, Linalu is uh, soluble in water, uh, so it can dissolve in water. When you uh, do the steam distillation, 
uh, this uh, essential component will dissolve in the water and will keep in the water. And this uh, linoleic acetate, uh, which is in the oil phase, it, it don't dissolve in water. Uh, so that is a major component you will get from uh, the lavender essential oil. And these two chemicals uh, have their own uh, specialties. Um, so linalu uh, has been used uh, in 60 to 80 percent of uh, the hygiene products like the soap, uh, the detergent, or the shampoo. So because of it, it's a special scent, uh, it has the unique lavender smell. And besides, you know, it works as a perfume, uh, it's also recognized for its antibacterial, uh, antiviral, and uh, anti-inflammation uh, properties. Uh, and some medical study uh, shows that a pure linalool has uh, anti-cancer effect, uh, including like a breast cancer, and also it shows a promise against uh, leukemia. Um, however, you know, when you use uh, the linalool, um, the oxidized phase, I call it oxidized linalu, it may have allergic effect, allergic skin effect. So that's why uh, you want to use a fresh uh, hydrosol because the pure linalu, uh, it, it has a, a lot of benefits, uh, but the oxidized uh, form has allergic effect. Um, so first, you want to use a fresh, of course, if you can make uh, your own hydrosol, so that's the freshest. So no any market product can, uh, can compete with that. Uh, second, if you want to buy uh, the hydrosol, you always uh, want to make sure you know their production rate is uh, uh, as close as possible. And also, second, you want to keep in the reference when you uh, uh, start to use it uh, because lower temperature can reduce its oxidization rate. And third, you want to use uh, as quick as possible. You want to finish them as quick as possible. Um, so that is a linear loop. Uh, so second is we talk about the linear acetate. That is in the oil phase. Uh, this one is a uh, nature uh, phytochemical. Uh, it has a, uh, it work as a perfume, it's just as a linear loop. Uh, and also these two chemicals actually call it like a couple com uh, compound. Um, and the linoleic acetate uh, is good on the skin uh, to reduce the skin inflammation and to reduce the rash. Uh, and it help uh, balance the oil on the skin. So it's good to make uh, balance between the dry and the oily skin, make it look uh, beautiful and uh, shiny. Uh, a, a study also talk about like uh, uh, lino acetate and the linalool, they can reduce the pain, your muscle pain, uh, and reduce the, um, the mental stress. And a few other studies shows like a lino acetate uh, is capable of uh, uh, reduce, relaxing the blood vessel and reduce the blood pressure. I put uh, my uh, the uh, resource, the, the information I found about these the articles I read uh, about this information, so I put the link uh, at the bottom. Uh, you know the the the, uh, the video links. Um, so you, if you have interest, you can just click and read it. Uh, yes. Yeah, so in conclusion, uh, with the lavender exa as an example, it is hydrosol. It has a linear loop uh, because it's a soluble in water, and then. Uh, you use, uh, so don't waste the hydrosol, uh, don't waste its uh, benefits. And uh, in the oil phase, uh, you have uh, the linoleic acetate, um, so it has its other um, the benefits. Uh, okay, yeah, thank you for watching. If you have a question, just leave uh, at the bottom as a comments or send me email. Uh, see you next time.